Alaskan Malamutes, about the breed. Before we take a look at how best to train an Alaskan Malamute, the topic of the specifics about this remarkable breed must be addressed. In order to train a Malamute, one must understand this ancient breed's background and inherent behaviors. Malamutes are one of the oldest working breeds and one of the most intelligent group of canines you will ever encounter. That said, when training a Malamute, you must never expect them to be like your old black lab, Molly who is content to please you at every turn and who seemingly artlessly learned commands she never forgot. The Alaskan Malamute is known for several traits, and it is the wise owner who knows these traits from the beginning as it will make training for you both much simpler. The Mal is best known, sometimes only known, for its pack behavior. Whether people like it or not, these dogs are used to a pack hierarchy mentality, and in order to communicate with them and get them to obey you, there must be a human alpha that extends to every part of the human family that comes into contact with the dog. This alpha position is earned by the smart owner who knows how to keep the Malamute in line and garners that essential position of respect through actions and interactions with the dog. Training a Malamute Puppy Obviously, life is much simpler when you start training a Malamute as a puppy. It isn't easy, but it is easier than trying to teach an old dog new tricks, literally. However, it can be done. My oldest Mal is a rescued Malamute who was abused and over the course of a year, I was able to train her very well. It did take an inordinate amount of patience, however, as she fought me every step of the way. The most important point to remember with training any dog but especially Malamutes is to always end on a high note. The high note means you win, not them. Sometimes in the course of a training session, in fact almost always, if you require a mall to do a command more than once, you will meet with resistance or they will become very creative in the way that they execute that command. For instance, sit becomes a down, etc. The key is to keep it ever-changing. Take them to the park to train them one day, take them out in the garage the next day. Never do the same routine of commands exactly the same way. Mix it up and interject some playtime in between. You will accomplish the same objective, but you will do it without going one-on-one -on -one with what I like to call the Malamute frozen brain. When they decide they are done with something, it is a trial to get them to keep moving in the direction you want them to go. I have found though that as long as I end up getting my way that is all that matters, and it never hurts to throw some distraction into the mix.